Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be washing and restoring this mess of a hair. Like you guys can see, it's a hot mess and this needs fixing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is going to detangle the hair. So I'm just using this detangling brush. This is just to make sure that there's not excess knots. So when it's washing and it's wet, it would be hard to comb out when after it's wet. So I'm just going to brush through it. And you're going to want to take it off the mannequin head and go under the bottom side which is right at your head back to get those knots under there as well because that's important to get out as well. So we're going to detangle every inch of this hair. So I'm going to use the Miracle Moa shampoo and conditioner and that's why Ozzy's the first I'm using it so I don't know what to expect. So what I did was I already sat water down and I'm just spraying some of the shampoo in the water because I don't want to directly put it on the hair because it probably might have been too harsh. So after the water is set then I did use warm water. I'm just going to lay the hair in there and dunk it basically. I'm not going to scrub the hair itself. I'm just going to put it in and out and that should take it out nice and easy. The dirt will eventually come out as you can see. It's getting up and it's it's a it, the hair is dirty. Be prepared. I, I'll tell you from now. Be prepared. So you're going to want to take the lace part which is going on your skin and actually make sure you get in that area so to prevent breakouts and stuff like that but you're not going to do it too harsh because you don't want to tear the lace. So be gentle with this part and just use your two fingers and get the dirt out of that area without damaging the lace. So just to repeat this a couple of times. So after a long wait, the hair is finally clean. So I rinse it out and it's time to condition. And I didn't put the condition directly on the hair either. I still put it in the water and I basically repeated the process. Same as I did when I was washing. So as you can see, the hair did come out clean after all. So what I did next was I blow dried the hair. Be sure that if by chance that you get any knots in the hair, you do detangle from the ends up to the root and not from the root down because that would tear the hair. But I'm just going to blow dry it and using the dryer and the detangler to go through it. And it's going to take a while, especially because there is um, fabric underneath it. So this is what it looked like after it was blow dry. It kind of looked like the natural African American hair or Africa, real African hair that's been processed. So what you're going to do next is straighten the hair. I have just put in some heat protectant on there but just because I don't want the heat to be damage it more than it's already damaged and this hair is used this I got my fair share of use out of this hair because I used to wear the bundles before I put it to this wig which was an experiment and it did work out well in my favor and guys if you can see you do realize um not the best I'm actually just learning so if I can do it you can and my technique which I am lacking in every sense you see it's not perfect it's sloppy and everything and it's messy and tacky so if I can you can too so don't doubt yourself just try and you just might surprise yourself i know that it will get better as i do it more often but this is what it looks like now and i guarantee you maybe in a couple months i'll be in a different place and be more comfortable using different techniques and different yeah all that good stuff i don't know what i'm saying but anyways yeah i'm just straightening the hair 
I'm not going to show you all of that because you don't need to see all of that. Well, if you want to see me straighten how oh, I straighten the hair, well, I don't think my technique is the best, so you don't want to see. <laughs> but if you do, just let me know down in the comments by the slide of, slide of chest slightest of chance I can't talk so you still need to mold the hair down so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm just using some mousse to get the hair and the tops nice and flat so I'm just gonna mush it all over the top of the hair to get it nice and laid by the way my part is gonna be lean I can do more complicated stuff but I don't think my parting is the best so ignore the parting <laughs> And then I'm just gonna go through with a hot comb. It's an electric one. I just got it at a beauty supply store that's close to me. Don't really know much of it. It's not bad, but be careful because you will burn yourself. And I'm just putting it in the direction which I wanted to go to make the part more defined. So you're gonna need to lay, well, if that's the look you're going for, because it just honestly depends on what you want, but this is for what I I want to do so I'm making up well I don't like using baby hair so you won't see any baby hairs in that in there so I am just molding it in the direction which I wanted to go kind of shaping it with the mousse and the at comb and if you want just be mindful of how I hold my finger this is to hold it in place you can also use the got to be sprayed to help hold it down with a small tooth brush comb it's the same technique but with that it just holds it a lot better so this was what it was like after it was done it was still a little bit wet so as you can see it's a little it looks wet because it was from the mousse and everything so this was the final product I am happy with it and yeah this was it and yeah that's it bye <laughs>